So I decided we got to do this. And trust me, I got a day job. I got a lot of day jobs. Most of my day job keeps me busy funding my fantasies like first and water and power. I got a lot of day jobs. I got. But I figured I got to do this. Did a little investigation. Went down to Washington and told them, I still think they're nuts, but we're going to do it. I told them I'd build them an arm. I told them it would probably take five years to get through the FDA and probably 10 years to be reasonably functional. Look what it takes to make things like iBots. Great, he said. You got two years. I said, I'll tell you what. I'll build you an arm that's under nine pounds that has all that capability in one year. It'll take the other nine to make it functional and useful. We sort of agreed to disagree. I went back and I started putting a team together, the best guys I could find with a passion to do this. At the end of exactly one year, we had a device with 14 degrees of freedom, all the sensors, all the microprocessors, all the stuff inside. I could show you it with a cosmesis on it that's so real it's eerie, but then you wouldn't see all this cool stuff. I then thought it would be years before we'd be able to make it really, really useful. It turned out, as I think you could see in Amy's capabilities and attitudes, people with a desire to do something are quite remarkable, and nature is quite adaptable. Anyway, with less than 10 hours of use, two guys, one that's bilateral, he's literally got no shoulder on one side and he's high transhumeral on the other, and that's Chuck and Randy together. Uh, after 10 hours, we're playing in our office, and we took some pretty cruddy home movies. At the end of the one I'm going to show, it's only about a minute and a couple of seconds long, Chuck does something that to this day I'm jealous of. I can't do it. He picks up a spoon, picks it up, scoops out some shredded wheat and milk, holds the spoon level, as he translates it, moving all these joints simultaneously to his mouth. And he doesn't drop any milk. I, I cannot do that. His wife was standing behind me. She's standing behind me at the time. And she says, Dean, Chuck hasn't fed himself in 19 years. So you got a choice. We keep the arm or you keep Chuck. So, can we, can we see that? This is Chuck showing simultaneous control of all the joints. He's punching our controls guy. The guy behind them is our engineer slash surgeon, which is a convenient guy to have around. There's Randy. These guys are passing a rubber little puck between them. And just as in the spirit of First, gracious professionalism, they're quite proud of this, so they decide to share a drink. <laughs> this is a non-trivial thing to do, by the way. Imagine doing that with a wooden stick and a hook on the end of it, doing either of those. Now Chuck is doing something quite extraordinary, at least for my limited physical skill. And now he's going to do what DARPA asked me for. He's going to pick up a grape. He didn't drop it. He didn't break it and he's going to eat it. So that's where we were at the end of about 15 months. But as I've learned from Richard, the technology, the processors, the sensors, the motors, is not the story. I hadn't dealt with this kind of problem or, frankly, this, this whole segment of the medical world. And I'll give you some astounding things that have happened as we started this. After we were pretty much convinced we had a good design and we'd have to make all the standard engineering trade-offs you always make, you can always get three out of four of anything you want, the weight, the size, the cost, the functionality. I put a bunch of guys in my plane and I said, we're flying down to Walter Reed and we're going to talk to these kids because, frankly, it doesn't matter whether we like this arm. It doesn't matter whether the, the Department of Defense likes these arms. 
when I told them that, they weren't entirely enthusiastic, but I told them it really doesn't matter what their opinion is. There's only one opinion that matters, the kids that are either going to use it or not.